Hi, in this lesson I'll show you what exactly is exception safety and how to write safe code. Exception safety is a general term for a few rules describing how code should behave when an exception is thrown. We know four levels of exception safety. 1. No accept or no throw. 2. Strong guarantee. 3. Basic guarantee. And the last, no guarantee at all. Let's first talk about the first and the last since those are, in my opinion, the most obvious ones. No throw guarantees that an exception will not be thrown. In C++, you typically designate such code by the no accept keyword. Examples can range from trivial code doing only maths, code calling only C functions, internally handling errors, or simply calling other no accept code. A non-obvious example can be a destructor. Destructors are implicitly no accept, so they don't break the destruction chain. Small note, no accept means that an exception will not propagate to the caller, but it does not mean that an exception will not be thrown inside. It should be either internally handled, all the process will be terminated by default. That, that last example does mean the exception will not propagate to the caller, but I don't think uh, termination is what you really want. Keep in mind that no throw likes to propagate. Code calling no accept code can become no accept itself, which means you really cannot remove no accept after you put it in. Well, since it can break the guarantee of the calls, right? This might be a strange dependency, but it tends to happen. Now let's go on to another trivial example. No guarantee. In short, that means anything can happen when an exception gets thrown. From typical resource leaks, well, let's say a portal from hell opening and demons killing us all. It's possible. This is usually also not what we want. Basic guarantee means your code can throw, but no leaks will result of that. And putting it simple, the state of involved objects will be valid and your process won't crash and burn. The state might have been changed, but it's still valid, whatever valid means in a given situation. An example might be removing an element from inside the std vector. Erasing an element copies the following elements on top of previous ones, and if that throws, you'll end up with a vector containing possibly a duplicate element somewhere. No resources get leaked, and the vector is still usable, but its elements are no longer certain. The most interesting case is the strong guarantee. In addition to the basic guarantee, it guarantees that the state of the involved objects does not change. This can be hard to achieve, especially in generic code, but when it's possible, you should really try to make that happen. As an example, we can take our trusty vector again, push some items onto that vector and see what happens. Pushing an item can result in an exception, for various reasons, example running out of memory, to allocate, or whatever. In such case, the vector still remains in its previous contents, even if an exception does propagate upward. Well, there is one, let's call it an exception to this rule, but let's leave it for now. It's important for you to understand that if an exception gets thrown and the state of any involved object doesn't really change because of that, then you have a strong exception guarantee. This basically means you are certain of what, for example, such vector contains, and you can use it appropriately. Okay, I hope you found this short lesson informative. I hope you learned something. Next time, we will see how to put that knowledge into use. Leave comments below, thumbs up, subscribe, and see you later.